Um, it's been a tough two years with COVID and there was times there we thought we'd get no football in but then it turned out we ended up having plenty of games, plenty of crack and tonight we're here to reap the rewards of that and I have to say fair play to you lads, there was a lot of stuff there going on and you trained really hard, worked very hard and at the end of the day you did very well. Um, I, I'd like to thank, especially there over the two years, the COVID officers. There was a lot, a lot of work put in over the two years, and there was COVID officers, and there was a lot, a lot of work done there. So I'd like to give a big round of applause for them, please. <laughs> um, during that time, uh, Bernard Tracy, he's down there. He was at the helm, and again, uh, tough, tough years. But look at. We got through it, and I'd like to give a round of applause for Bernard as well. Um, I'd like to thank Mary here in the sport lab. She always looked after us, and there was food and hot food, and we had some great evenings up here. I'd also like to thank, um, t over the last uh, two years ago, we decided we do um, uh, our laundry in-house, and we got all our jerseys and everything washed, so Christine down there, um, looked after all our jerseys and everything, so behind the scenes, so I'd like to go, I'd actually, actually like to call you up first, Christine. Come on, come on for a minute, come on for a minute. Actually, we just saw some small talk here for you. So I'd like to give Christine a round of applause there, please. Another man I'd like to thank there is Jared. All the photographs and videos and everything. So a round of applause for Jared. So for my kicking off here, I might ask Eamon and the under 16 management team uh, to come up, say a few words, and present the medals to the lads. It's good, to, uh, it's good to be in a room that everyone can be in a room together, so it's great that we're able to, to mark it. Um, there's been a lot of achievements, we'll say, over the last couple of years, but it's just good that we're all back in the room together. Um, I, I'm just going to talk a little bit about the under-16 team from 2020, and we'll also talk about the under-16 team from 2021 as well. We're just going to do it all in the one go, and uh, we're going to hand out the medals then afterwards. So. Bear with me, I'll try not to delay too long, but I think it's important that we, you know, that we mark these things as well. So, just on, on uh, myself and Brian are here, um, all the, the rest of the management, um, just through various other commitments, just weren't able to make it tonight, so they've sent their apologies. Um, so, first of all, just talking about the under 16 team from 2020, and um, we had a, quite a good year. There's a lot of different ways you can measure a year. Um, you can have a good year and not win anything. And you know, if players improve or whatever, uh, you, can have a, you can have a good year and win a lot. And um, I suppose you have to look on both of them the same as best you can. But what we're all trying to do is trying to improve all the time. Do you know what? So us as coaches, what we're trying to do is, is to, to help you to improve. And that's, that's what we've been trying to do. So in 2020, we were lucky enough that we won the, the West A and the County A, and we also won the, the B County Championship as well. So um, I suppose for all the players that are involved in that, I just want to thank you first and foremost. From our point of view, Brian, I'm sure you'd agree, it, it, was, great working, it was great working with uh, that group of players. Um, we wouldn't have known a lot of you when we came into it. We wouldn't have worked with some of you before. Uh, top class attitude from everyone. I really enjoyed working with you, and I'd just like to thank you very much for it. Um, as we progressed through the A Championship, we had we had some tough times, and 
I suppose it was a key game there, the West Day final, where you really stood up and um, you got an awful lot out of yourselves and you, you, you basically pulled yourselves through the game and it was huge credit to you. And that really set you up then for the semi-final and, and the, the county final afterwards, where you performed with great distinction and really um, showed off your skills and your attitude and um, you're just top class. It was a great achievement on your, on your behalf. And, you know, I suppose this applies to everyone who's picking up a medal here tonight. A lot of guys will play an awful lot of football and may never win anything, you know, or, so, so you should enjoy these when, when you do get them. Enjoy them and, and savour them. Um, I, ju I just want to talk about the B team uh, as well. So I, I would say we played the B county final, I think it was on Friday, maybe before we played the A county semi-final or something like that. But that was possibly the most enjoyable game of the year. And I think it really set us up because every one of the lads that, that played, we, we were up against a, a very strong Brafie team in, in that final. Every one of the lads really stood up, really played well, showed off all the skill, the attitude, top class from, from everyone. And it was a really top class game. And I know there was an awful lot of people that, were, that are here tonight that, that went out to it because the whole squad went out together. And that, that's what we tried to do. We tried to keep the squad together. As, as a group throughout the year. Um, but a huge amount of credit to the lads on the B team as well. Like that, that was a fantastic game and you played fantastically as well. So I hope you, I hope you got something out of that. Just during the year then, we, um, we also had Jeremy McDonough and Benji um, we had them in with us. They were in the, on, from the senior setup at the time and it was great. We were, they were able to come in and take a session every, every few weeks or whatever. And, you know, that, that was beneficial as well, so I'd just like to thank them and thank the executive as well for the support during the year. That's under 16-2020, so if we can just give the lads from under 16-2020 a round of applause. Uh, so, the under 16s from 2021, again, same thing, we wouldn't have worked with a lot of you before and it was a real pleasure working with you and first and foremost we just want to thank you for your efforts during the year. It, it was the, the competition at the back end of the year but, and sometimes those competitions at the back end of the year they kind of get a little bit left behind. I thought it was a brilliant one from, from our point of view this year. Like we got probably I'd say five or six top quality games throughout. Um, we won the West title and I, I suppose it's fair to say we were comfortably kind of the best team in, in the West. And it's important like, that, that, that we're still setting the benchmark, not just at county level, we want to be the best team in the West as well, because the, the, the centre of football now in Mayo at the moment, or has been over the last number of years, is, is West, okay? You know, we've we big challenges coming in there from Westport and Brafie, and it's important that we're top dogs, okay, in, in, in West competitions, all right? So, um, it's important that we mark that here, here as well tonight. We had a great performance then in, in, against Moy Davids in the semi-final where he really, um, really came through again. A uh, huge amount of determination and aggression and a load of skill. It's a very strong group of footballers and I suppose just from, from your own point of view and just in terms of advice or anything, what we'd say is, you know, you're, where you go from here, you can go anywhere, any, any of that group can go anywhere. Your attitude would probably determine where, how far you go and how successful you are, how successful you want to be. Keep working, working hard all the time and make sure that your attitude is, is 100%, okay? That's, I suppose, what we've asked for any team that we've managed is that the attitude and the work rate has to be 100% all the time. That's all that we want to see. And. I, you know, we got it most of the time. We fell a little bit short there in, in the uh, in the county final at the end of the year, but there was no doubt in terms of the work rate and the attitude, and you did pretty much everything that we, that we asked you to do. So, thanks uh, again, and thanks to all the parents, because as Karen mentioned, uh, with COVID and everything, you know, there was no buses, there was um, a lot of travelling to and from games, and we, we had great support all, all the way through from, from the parents. So, just... Thanks to everyone again. Okay. So, with the way it was over the last.
last two years I had so many uh, are on the under 15 and so many are here so if you don't get called out here um, it's, it's three, you'll be in this group here okay but everyone is accounted for okay Okay. Um, right, it's great to have a big bag of medals. Owen Murphy. Daniel McHale. Fiona Riley. Charlie Rawson. Tom Heenan. Sean Coy. Shane Cunningham. Patrick Sunday. 
Thanks for that. Thanks for that. What a talking here, no. Sam, Sam Hank. <laughs> okay, um, next we'll ask um, uh, Connor. Hello everyone, I won't keep you too long as the game has covered quite a bit already. We just uh, I suppose start off the evening. Our team for the last two years was our under 14s in 2020 and uh, under 15s in 21 which was basically the same team. We had the bonus year, I suppose, with the revamp um, of the age groups. So we started off, I suppose, in, in, in 2020 with the 14s and started training in February and then everything halted because of COVID. So I suppose that kind of just put things in limbo for a few months. So we, we had guys um, doing online skills, doing runs, sending times in. Sometimes we're at world record pace. I'm not too sure about the validity of them, but it was all a bit of fun just to keep things going uh, for those couple of months. And then we started, um, I think we started the uh, training at the end of June. I had a very, very good year, a very successful year. Um, played some great football. There's some great talent in this particular age group and uh, the football that they played is the proper type of football, I think, and the way it should be played. And we had a really, really good year. Um, ended up losing a county final against Clinton. I'm sure you'll all remember that evening which was a, a heartbreaking even for the lads and for everyone involved, but there was a great learning in, in it too, you know, that sometimes you have to, 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 to lose to learn. But it was a great, it was a great year and some, some fantastic football plays. And I'd just like to thank all the people that were with me, management group. We had Karen, uh, Jeremy Byrne, I don't think he was here tonight, and then Derek, and then Declan, the younger brother, came in to give us a hand the following year. And um, it all added up, I suppose, to really as Eamon was saying earlier on, the key thing is to develop players at this age. They're at a young age, but the skill set is extremely high. And as, as Eamon said um, earlier on, it's all about what you do, lads, in the next couple of years. Really, like, the ball is in your course, okay? Um, it's about hard work, you know, keeping that attitude that she, that she had. And in fairness, the attitude um, of all the lads during the course of two years was excellent. Um, we didn't have any hassle. Everyone was prepared to kind of just roll up the sleeves and put the work in that's needed because high skill levels will get to, to a certain place, but we won't get you to, um, to everywhere we want to go to. So keep that up, lads. That's really, really important. Um, then we rolled on to, I suppose, the second year, which was the under 15. And again, I suppose we had interruptions because of COVID as well. But um, had a very, very, again, good year, successful year. Um, I think uh, we, we I think it was a bit different than the 15. There was a group stage where we um, were in the division with uh, six or seven really good teams in, in in the county, and got through to a semi final, got through to the final this year against Clamaris, and the lads won the county title, which I think they deserved over the two years with the football they played. So that was a great uh, success. Now, as Eamon said, he's right. I mean, like winning isn't is it's an everything, but it certainly helps. And uh, I think it's good to get that competitive um, spurt into, into, into all the lads at that particular age because as you go forward and you're going on at as, uh, as higher levels, that's what you'll need. But I think the level that we played at uh, all year, training and uh, at matches, was of a high standard. So I'm looking forward to seeing you all play myself in, and, and, and the lads are as well too in the next few years. And we look forward to seeing you develop and uh, uh, just go further down the line. So I think we have a number of medalists to hand out here. And we also have two awards. Um, there is a, 
player of the year for, for both years. We just decided on the on the 2014 year, the, the, the 2020, there's a player of the year. I think the club has, has given one of these awards every single year anyway. There's a, a, a it's a memorial, isn't it? It's the, what is it, Karen? It's the Bernie Joyce Memorial Shield, okay, that's been given to um, another 14 player every year. And we just decided this, um, to give a, a player of the year to the under 15 set up as well. So, um, am I start off with that? Will we, will first, okay, so just the, um, the medal first, is this okay? Okay, so we'll start off with uh, the panel, Oren Burke. Okay, Ryan Gibbons. <laughs> and Josh McCannon. <laughs> Gary Filan. Oshin Roy, oh, she's not here, I think, is it? Okay, right. Harry McHale. <laughs> Shane Cunningham. <laughs> uh, Fionn McHale. Conal Durkin. <laughs> King Rudge. <laughs> Conor Kavanagh. got two awards and as I said earlier on and really like the awards could have gone to 
eight, nine, ten, eleven different guys because as I said, the quality really and the performances in lots of games was really so high. But we just had a look at this and there was a I suppose a few key things over the two years. So we'll start off with doing the fourteen one, okay? And the fourteen award goes to a player and I'm sure those of you that have come up to McHale Park can see this guy out practicing quite a lot over the last number of years. Very talented young individual, attitude top class, and is always looking to improve. And I go no doubt he's going to get better as the years go along. So this award goes to Gavin Fowry. Okay, and the final award goes to our um, under 15 um, year group, okay? And this particular individual, I suppose, is someone who we regard as being very consistent all the way through. Never really had a bad game. If there was any kind of bother on the pitch and we needed to move someone somewhere, he was always there um, to do a job. Again, a really, really highly skilled young individual, and no doubt um, great things are going to come in this uh, lad's career as well, too. So this award goes to Brian McDonald. Uh, Fenton and his management, Fenton and the under 14 and 15 management team. I see Jerry down there. Don't be shy, Jerry. Heidi, don't be shy. Folks, um, the, the last group here under 14s from 2020 and uh, under 15B from 2021. Um, the coaching team here, Paddy Fanley, Jerry Concannon, Kieran was part of this management team as well. And Pat Logan gives his apologies, he couldn't make it tonight. Um, this was a very, um, we, two good years with this team. It developed lovely from the start of 2020 when we got back in June 2020. We got a nice team together. Unfortunately, there was there was no real competitive games, but we played a lot of challenges. At the end of the year, there was a, a mini league. We competed well. I thought lads developed very well over that year, and we saw great development in so many players over the year. And that's what we took from that year. And we brought that on into the following year, 2021, where we had a competitive league and champion, competitive league and championship. Um, there was, I think we used 38 lads last year in all, um, which is a phenomenal number considering Connor had 15 for the eight panels. That was 53 lads that we used on the 15 level last year. Uh, I thought that was a phenomenal, phenomenal from the club, 53 players at that age. Um, we had 35 games in all between challenges, league and championship. Everybody in the whole panel got a great run of games. It was great to get so much football, so much training, and at the end of the day, we always seen the under 15 and under 14 B. It's a development, a development team to make lads, some lads push on to get onto the A squad, other lads that maybe unsure themselves, not as good footballers, but to keep coming back and improving and improving. And you just never know when that day will come that will click and it'll all come together, confidence will come, and you'll become that, fi that fine footballer as well. So at the end of the year then, we had the, um, we had the, champion, we had the championship, we, we had to win the last two games to get through, which we did. Got into the semi-final, 
We went down to Clamar, it's a very tough game. We took out a great victory down there. And then we went and played on more in the final. Again, it wasn't the best game of football. We were riding a, a bit of luck, a bit of heart, a bit of character, but that's what that team had all year. And we ended up getting a, a late winning goal to win. And that, that was the icing on the cake. As we said, it was all about, mainly about development, but to get to that county B team championship was the, the icing on the cake at the end of a fantastic 16 months. Um, respect uh, Eamon and Connor have touched on thanking parents and other coaches, the committee, um, Bernard's there, he got mentioned there, he did fantastic work. I thank Maid, Mark, Kieran does phenomenal work here. He's involved with so many teams and involved now as Gotham Treasurer to Chairman. He's doing phenomenal work, he puts so much time and effort in. Um, really like to thank the parents that said, we've no buses the last two years, we've some fortunate the parents went on journeys. I think the Google Maps was out a few times last year. <laughs> we headed for the we for Kilcommon one night in the team in rain. We were in Kilmean in the team in rain. We were in Arda another evening. Um, there were great, great trips to get. And maybe most in the past stopped. Maybe some parents and supporters from going to the game. So maybe the last few years with, with no buses, more people got out to support the team. And I, I thought that was one good thing we took from the last two years. Um, so just like uh, mainly in the most important most important part of all is the lads themselves. And I encourage all the lads, they're going up now this year, they're training for the 16th at the moment. We'll have a very, most of them are involved in very important on the 15th campaign that we're going to start in, starting competitively in early May. So I encourage everyone to keep going, keep trying, keep the head up. No matter if you think, think things are going a little bit bad and that are not improving, just keep at it. You just don't know when that day will come that will all stick together. And also encourage the lads, maybe one or two lads not here tonight, haven't come back, we've been on some events. Encourage the press, keep coming back, keep trying. The GEA is very important in the community. Okay, so we can go on to the medals now. Again, Matthew Fleming.
Ben Joyce. Do you want me to see him? Uh, Aiden. Kieran McKeon. Hey, 